back to the football manager 2021 journey man series here on the xbox one yes we're playing on the xbox one normally it's the uh it's a laptop it's the pc but nah it's the consoles the consoles are taking over here on football manager we're taking over clifton phil and we're doing a good job we're still undefeated which is great three games in uh i think we've got two wins and a draw you can see the board conference they've yet to really um, take a stance on his like, so I don't think they've got a real opinion, but they're happy, very pleased with the win over Linfield, which they should be, but they're disappointed with the draw against Glen Torren. I mean, Glen Torren are no mugs, plus they're above us in the league, so I don't know why they'd be so disappointed, you know, with a 2-2 a draw against uh, Glen Torren, but regardless, we just need to keep on ploughing away. Up next, we've got Larn in the league. Top goal scorer Joe Gormley, the guy has been amazing so far, he's been banging in the goals left, right and centre, so we need to keep him fit, literally need to keep him fit because um, he is the only striker we've got, even though he's, he's playing well, if he gets injured we're fucked because we don't even have anyone else to come in, so we need to try and make sure that he stays fit and he keeps scoring, and with that said guys, I think that's us ready then to get in, I, I would like to check how the Northern, how did, let me hold, oh, let's just see here, hold on, what's happening? Um, competitions, what are we in? We're in absolutely nothing, so you've got the McLean Bet Cup. How do we find out what happened here in the... I want to see how the non-Irish teams did in the, um... In the, in Europe, so let's find it here. Well, let's try and find it. If we can, how do we scroll, can we scroll down? Yes, we can. Um, let's see here, so we'll go to the... We'll go to the, and there's also the Euro Cup too, but I don't think that's started yet, has it? I think that's next season, that starts next season, I believe, so. I'll go have a quick look at this. And what stage is it we're looking at? We're looking at the, how do you get, yeah, the league path stage, preliminary round. Stages, man, this is complicated. Stages, league path. Let him around. Here we go. So, Glen Torren got a nice 4 0 win against B36, and then Coleraine with a 2 0 win. So, both non Irish teams then got into the uh, the next round, which is pretty cool. Let's see how they did in the first qualifying round. I can't see them. How did they do? Did they do well? Did they get humped? Probably got humped. I can't see them, it's as if they've just disappeared, they've fallen off the face of the earth. Well, Glen Torren beat Renova, two goals to nil. Good one over the Macedonian side. Coleraine got humped off, I believe that is Basel, 4-0. So, I think that's the only teams, any other non ice teams enter this stage, no. So, how far did Glen Torren go? I highly doubt they qualified, but we'll check and see how they're doing. Second round is probably where their journey came to an end. And it did, so they lost to Ferraravi FC, whoever the hell they are. So there you go, Glen Torren, though. Making it to the second round, no bad. You see big wins there for Rangers and Aberdeen. So uh, they did pretty well. Uh, but in the Champions path, let's see what happened here. Linfield, so Linfield beat Flora to get into the third round. Could Linfield potentially get into the, uh, the Europa League group stages? How did they do in the third round? Oh, they lost 2-1. Okay, so all known Irish teams are out of Europe then. Just wanted to double check that. Let's get stuck into the next game. And like I said, we've got Joe Gormley up front. He's like the only guy we have, so he, he needs to be good. Uh, Dunn, I think we'll bring him... Will we bring him Brush again? Let me see, Dunn or Brush. I mean, Brush is the number one, so we'll probably go with Brush. And that will oh, do is Breen. Bring Breen back in over Harney. Maybe over McGir McGivern. Yeah, I think we'll bring in Breen then. And that will probably do us. Let's get stuck into the match and see what we can pick up here today. Mentality, we're going to go positive. We're a much better team than Lawrence, so it, it does make sense to you know, have a positive outset. Go pretty attacking in this game. We'll try and pick up all three points. So there it is, the team sheets. Um, 
to be honest, it doesn't really matter who Lauren Field. I don't really know any of these guys, so. I mean, they could have fucking could have the greatest player to ever play in the non-Irish game, and I I wouldn't know. So here we go. Match started. Let's see how we got on. It looks like at the moment Lauren have created the better chances. I'm not in the better chances. I think they've just had more of the ball, and we are yet to really get a foothold in this match, but. Early days only. Well, I say early days now. Quickly getting in here to the uh, <laughs> approaching the end of the first half. Not many chances have been created. Scott whips it in. Hughes heads it down. Kelly's there. And it's a goal for Lauren. It's Graham Kelly. First goal of the season for him. And it's been a really, really poor start here from Cliftonville. And we need to turn this around, guys. I'm, I'm no happy. We need to shout something for the bench. <laughs> Let's do it. Um, how the hell do you even... I don't even know how you shout in this. But we're going to go mentality. We're going to go... I'm going to go attacking. I'm just not happy with how this has started. And can we... Can we shout something here? How the fuck do we shout? How do we shout at the team? See, it's instructions. I bet that could be it. No, it's not. That's not uh, that's not what we're looking for, but close, but not close enough. Yep. So we need to fire up the entire team. We'll do that. Shout for the dugout. Tell them these are they've been pish. And now it's half time. And now we've got a chance to um, to really tell them how we feel. And let's let's berate the team because they have been poor. They've been really, really poor. We might actually make subs here straight away. Um, who can we take off? I mean, Gormley's not had a good game, but like I said, I can't really do anything because he's the only player that we have. Let's get into the tactics here. Let's see who we can bring on. I think we'll bring on Curran. Yeah, we'll bring on Curran here, see if he can come on and do anything. You know what, I think we'll we'll put an extra man up. We'll do that. And then we will change it bag now for Maguire perhaps. And we'll see if Maguire can come on and do anything. We'll do it, play Maguire there. So there you go, we're not waiting about man, we've just made a couple of changes already. We're going a lot more attacking. And, uh, yeah, we're going to try and get back in this game as quickly as possible. There's no point waiting around, wasting time. But Lauren have another free kick here. Dangerous area. It's Lynch. Plays it short to Randall. Randall. Back to Lynch. It's a good, it's a good play there. Lynch shoots, though. But Brush saves it for a corner. I mean, he should have... It looks like he should be able to catch that. Can't quite understand how he's not managed to grab a hold of the ball there, but... Corner comes in. O'Connor gets ready. Falls for Randall again. Lauren keeping the pressure on us with Jarvis. Kelly. Kelly whips it in. Keeper comes out. Brush with a nice uh, comfortable catch there. And now he punts it up and that's the end of the highlight. So not a lot happening in terms of us possession. We're being absolutely dominated. Can we change that in the second half though? Curran. Plays it. Oh, it's a short pass there to O'Connor. There's Lynch on the attack. Lauren looking to double their lead. Our undefeated record here could be coming to an end. And it's a good save, but it's fallen for Hughes. Jeff Hughes, first goal of the season for him. And we are in desperate trouble. And we need to, I think we need to change something. We do. We're going to change it right now because this is not good. Uh, McDermott. I'll have to play these wing backs a wee bit higher up. Yeah, this is risky. I mean, this could come and backfire, but I feel like we've got to go for it. Mentality. I'm going to go ferry attacking. Just try and get some way back into this game. Uh, 
It's another corner though for Lauren. So, it looks like the wheels could be coming off our bus here. Started the season very strongly. We're undefeated coming into this game. But it looks like we're about to taste what it feels like to lose in the non-Irish league here. Because we've got 25 minutes to get two goals here and rescue a draw. But at the moment, we we just haven't really created anything. And even in terms of highlights, there's been very little to show from us. So, Brush making another save. And you know what? I think we've got to make another sub here. We're going to do it. Uh, who we bring on, though, I don't really know. Doherty, Cowan, McGivern, none of these guys really. We'll bring on Doherty, I guess. Or if we put him there, Maguire there, then we'll put Doherty here. And then O'Connor can play here. Like I know this is very risky, but I think we need to go for it. You can just see how many men we've got up there. It's, it's insane. We need the next goal, and we need it now. We need it soon. Eight minutes to go. Time is running out. It doesn't even look like we're going to find anything, guys. I can't see us getting anything back in this game. You know, lackluster game, and it is a match that sees us lose and fall to 12th place in the league. Disaster. We went from 6th, I mean, we went from 3rd even in the table down to down to 7th. How's that happen? And you can see the Cliftonville support not happy with that result. Can't really blame them. The league's very tight, though. Look at that. One point. Separates ourselves from third place Linfield, but um, not happy there to lose to Lauren. I think we should have done a bit better. And now we need to lick our wounds and see how we can come back from that defeat there. I mean, stats, there wasn't much in it, you know, 10 shots apiece. They edged possession, but overall, I mean, it looked like a close game, but I mean, Lauren kind of did dominate. They'd, a lot more chances than us, better chances. I don't. We didn't even have one highlight. Real Madrid's East Coast signed a new three-year deal. That will have no effect on us whatsoever. I uh, can't say that East Coast was in my summer signing plans. I mean, it would have been good if he was, but um, unfortunately, that's not the case. And now up next, we have Coleraine at home. 75. Coleraine. In fourth place at the moment, a point above us. That's the team we're going to go with. And Gormley up front. He's been scoring all season. Didn't score in the last game, but... I've got to give him the benefit of the doubt. Like I said, though, there's not much else we can do. He's the only striker we've got. That will be my first priority. To bring in another striker, even if it's just to get a wee bit of backup, a bit of competition for Gormley. But I think we need something. And we'll see how Coleraine then start this match. Straight away, they've made a good attack here doing the wing. It's Doherty to Clark. He whips it in. Nixon, oh my god, Stuart Nixon. And, Cl and Coleraine scoring within the first 20 seconds. <laughs> oh man, things are falling apart here at Cliftonville. I don't know what's happened. We got off to a great start and then last game was very poor and now we're, now we're one goal down. Within 20 seconds. Unbelievable stuff here. Unbelievable, Jeff. Lacking down the wing. Looks to beat a man. Crosses it in. McCruden with the header away. There's no... There's no Clifton Phil player in sight. To try and win it. So it's Clark. Collects the ball. Easy. Oh my god. And Curtis Allen scores. And what is happening here? We're less than two minutes into the... And we're getting beat 2 now. Coleraine are fucking punishing us. And I have no answers. I have absolutely no answers. What can we do guys? What can we do here? It doesn't make much sense. 
Can someone give me instructions or something? Shout for the pitch. I guess we'll demand more. We need a lot more though. Ball whipped into Gormley and he puts it wide. Joe Gormley, you expect him to bury those chances. And maybe that's a sign of things to come that we're not going to have a good day today because Gormley scores that, we're right back in the game. But he puts the header wide. I mean, at least Coleraine have slowed down. They did get two goals in the opening two minutes. At least we've weathered the storm a wee bit, but now we find ourselves trailing 2-0 and we need to find a way back into this game. At the moment, not really happening. Our player, no, no one's playing particularly well. Harney's got a 7.0. Brush is playing on a 6.9. But it looks like we're going to come into half time and not a lot has really changed. So again, we're going to have to make... We're going to have to change something here. Let's go into the instructions. We're going, to go, we're going to have to go more direct and play at a higher tempo. Never time waste. Um, extremely wide. I want us to come a bit more narrow, I think. And um, mix crosses. Yeah, there you go. So we'll go with that for now. Start the second half. And we will go mentality. We'll just go ferry attacking and see if we can find a way back into this game. Oh, even even Curran can't save man. Keepers put on a spectacular diving saves. What's happening here? We're getting fucking kneecapped soon. The IRA is not going to be happy about this result. Ball whipped in, head out away again. About to lose my job. I'm about to lose my job. We've had six shots, but none of them have really been that good, so. Right. 57 minutes gone. We need to try and find a goal now. Dermot's ball up. Get it away. He's, he must be offside. That he's all, uh, so disallowed. Thank fuck for that. If I had a, a threw the towel in, probably slipped my wrist at the same time. Thankfully, it's been given offside, so it won't count. Might have to slip my wrist anyway though, because we're running out of time and there's nothing happening in this match. Korean on the ball again here. Fuck Korean, it's a shithole, but at the moment they're beating us 2 0, so. I mean, I think they're going to get the last laugh. Ball through to Allen. Ivies comes away, punts it to McCrudden. Can we hit the counter here? Can we try and pull one back. Come on, son. Whips it in. Wow, what a goal. Joe Gormley. Seventh goal of the season. Pick that one out, keeper. Right, quick, grab the ball. Let's go. Run, wee man. Run, run, run. Look at that. The speed of him running back to the the uh, set the midfield there to kick off. That's that's insane. Right, here we go. Let's go back into the tactics here. Are uh, we going to this Bagnell guy? Yeah, we're going to go for it. Screw it. We are going to go for it, and we're going to bring on this current guy, number seven. It's not quite David Beckham, but who knows? Maybe he'll. Bang one in the back of the net. This Harnig dude's not had the greatest game. I think we're going to bring on probably Cowan for him. I think we'll bring, yeah, I think we'll bring on Cowan for Harney. And that's really it, man. In terms of attacking players, like I have a lot. We're going to have to just keep Joe Gormy up there. Yes, mate, we need to get another one. We need another goal because I don't want to lose back to back games in a row. It's not acceptable. N this league's so tight. You lose a couple of games in a row, and then before you know it, you're almost in the relegation zone. Oh, you're joking me! It's all. I think that's a deflection. I think. I think the guy uh, defenders attempted to clear it, and it's bounced off Mick Cogney or whatever. I don't know where his name is. 
And that'll probably, I mean, look at the stats. We've had 16 shots to their 10. But it's not going to matter. We're going to fall to another defeat here. It's going to be 3-1 to Coleraine. And that's the full-time whistle. Their manager celebrates. Our manager sits there looking depressed. And you can't really blame him. It's another poor defeat. Um, what's the staff feedback looking like? Not good. How can we, how do you shout at the players? Is there, where's, where's the team talk? I feel like we need to do something here. Can we? I don't know, he's not even letting me. Maybe he can't give an after match team talk, I don't know. I have to figure that out. Or maybe do it here. Again, doesn't look like there's any way to do it. It's only showing me the continue thing. What's this wee whistle? Are you sure you want to leave it, leave this match to your... No, fuck no. Although my staff would probably get a better result than me at the moment. And that means we, we stay in 7th place, but the, the gap to the 3rd place team, Korean obviously grows now. It's 4 points in it. And we are slipping further and further away from the top of the table. Right, up next we've got Dungan, and they are pish. They are bad. And we're back at home, so really we should be able... To pick up a win there. Clifton Phil's five game unbeaten home run ends. Yep, rub it in guys. It wasn't a good result. I'm well aware. I'm not happy that the runs came to an end. But it's over now. There's not a lot we can do about it. We just need to try and bounce back. And the next, next game's going to be massive. We, we can't afford not to beat Dungannon. They're 10th for a reason. They're not very good. And we're at home. And if we're really, if we're looking to try and finish in a European spot this season, then we have to be beating teams like Dungannon. Let's see, that the Dungannon scouting report is in. The squad tends to lack good heading. Beat Breen's heading ability. Yeah, well, goalkeepers do not like to punch the ball clear. Right, okay, Rock shines, his sticks and finds fitness. Dungannon, right, I get it. Breen's playing pretty good in the reserves. Wait, do we have a striker in the reserves? Because if we do, I'm just going to call him up. Let's see here. Who do we have in the uh, reserve team? It's, f it's very hard to navigate this, right? Here we go, squad. Let's find out where the reserve team is. Do we even have a reserve team? Possibly not. Who's this guy at the bottom here? Who's that? Connor McNemon. I don't really know who he is, but... Probably should try and get him back into the team, because he's just sitting there on the bench at the moment, not doing a lot. I don't, I don't see... Numbers. Who are these guys? Richard Bruce. Half of these guys don't. Yeah, where are these guys? This is Ryan O'Kane, he's on loan. Peter McKernick. How did we call these guys up? I didn't even know these guys bloody existed. He, this guy's wanted. Peter McKernan. Ryan O'Kane. Youth contract, loan. How do we. This guy needs to be called up. But I'm not quite sure how you do it. I need to mess about with it. Ah, I don't really know how you... It's on, because I'm on the Xbox, I don't know how to... I don't know how to promote someone from the... I don't, I don't know how you get someone in the reserves team to the... That's a joke. I don't know how... It's, it's, I know I should be able to do this, but... At the moment, I can't. Linfield or Glentorum will play either Cliftonville or Glenavon in the Bet McLean League Cup semi final. Right, good news. So we got a. Looks like we're going to have a, a big set cup semi final. My head's fucking banging, so win, lose, or draw against Dungannon here. Probably going to call it a day. Um, For some reason, McManaman isn't allowed to play. 
Why is that? I don't really know. I guess we'll leave him out for now. I'm not quite sure why he's not allowed to play. It makes no sense to me, but we'll see. Maybe he can come on as a sub. Um, McCrudden. You know, this McCrudden guy can play as a striker, so perhaps if we play Curran, we can bring McCrudden on for Gormley if, if necessary. Oh, Connor McNannum has been loaned to another club. Right, okay, no problem. That's why the guy can't play then. Right, well, how do we get rid of him? How do I... This is fucking annoying. How do we get... How do we get him out the fucking... I, I, I hate playing this on the Xbox. How, how anyone can... You need to be a right spastic to say the game's better on the Xbox. You would. It's... I don't like playing this guys on the Xbox, I really don't. When you're on the laptop, you've got every option at a click of a button, you know, you can just get anything you want. On this, you're, you're constantly moving around, it's so fucking slow, you don't know what you're doing. It's not a good experience, anyone that thinks it's just not better. Anyway, speaking of better, that's much better. Joe Gormley puts a goal in past Dungannon, two minutes in. Sheer brilliance, incredible goal from Gormley. And I can tell you man, there's going to be big clubs coming in for him. Barcelona. Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, Manchester City. Well, they're, I suppose they're not a big club, they've just got a wee bit of money, but the point remains, he's going to be wanted this season, Joe Gormley, so. Are you moved? There's another goal here, this time it's from Curran, but it's going to be desolate. I don't think you can move. Can you move from Xbox to PC? I mean, I always play it on the PC, but I decided to try this journeyman save on the... Uh, the Xbox this year, but I don't like it. It's very hard to navigate the menus and stuff like that, and time consuming, and just don't like it. I feel like Joe Gormley, ninth goal of the season, happy day, so we're bouncing back well here, and that's a brace for him already in the opening 11 minutes, but my point about the Xbox is, I don't like it, I feel like it's harder to neg uh, navigate, I feel like there's a lot of options missing that you get in on the PC version. I don't know, it just... In my opinion, you get a very basic experience if you play Football Manager on the... Oh, what a goal that would have been. That would have been a fucking peach. Shouldn't be allowed to score goals like that in the Northern Irish League, though, let's be honest. But yeah, in my opinion, um, on the Xbox, you get a very limited experience. So maybe if you're a casual player and you just want to you know, try your hand out as a manager, then I understand the Xbox version might be for you, but... If you prefer, like, you know, a lot of depth and you like to look at all the stats and <laughs> if you want to have, like, a, a big, you know, larger experience, then to me, you have to go with the PC all the way. So, that's my opinion. So, Xbox FM 21 is Diet Football Manager and PC is foot. I, I agree with that, yeah. Now, perhaps, perhaps you can do the same stuff on the Xbox version as you can, the PC, but I have no idea how to access it. Even it's used, he's through, it's a good save from the keeper. Even in the even in the matches when I want to shout at the team, it's very difficult. You have to go about you have to do about go about three through three or four different menus just to get to the option. It's it's, it's complicated. I can't even find the reserve squad. It's a lot harder to take players in and out of the squad on the Xbox. It's just it's not really good. To be honest, guys, it's not that good. I am going to take... I've just been really, really busy. I'll probably start the Hearts one. I'm going to, definitely going to do the Hearts one on the PC. I'll not be doing the Hearts one on the Xbox. Probably start it later on tonight. 
it was December, shite time of the year, you know, working 24-7. And it's not so, it's something I want to start when I feel fresh, and I don't want to be starting it when I'm tired as fuck, and... You know, because I want to actually take time and make sure that we... <laughs> I do the job right, I don't want to be getting sacked in the first couple of weeks as the hot boss. Gormley gets the hat trick, happy days, 3-0 up, and you know what, we'll probably take him off at half time then. But yeah, the Hearts save will be coming soon, probably later on today. Maybe after the Manchester Derby, or maybe after Pulev knocks out Joshua in the boxing tonight. I don't know, one of the two. Yeah, mate, my head's absolutely banging, I'm not going to lie. First day off work all week, and aye, my head's, my head's all over the joint. But when you're winning three now at half time, it, make, it does it makes things a lot easier. So I guess we'll just tell the guys to keep up. We'll, we'll give them a wee bit of praise, entire team. So, so we'll praise them, and then I think, like I said, I am probably going to take off. Uh, I'm going to take off Joe Gormley because the guy's got a hat trick. There's no real reason to keep him on the field at this stage. So we'll bring on. We'll put. Mc I thought I took McCrudden off. We'll put McCrudden up front. He can play up front in the second half and Gormley can come off for... We'll bring on Curran. And then I think the other offside will bring on Maguire. And then it looks like Harney isn't completely... I know we're just making all the subs here. I mean, this could come back to haunt me if this team start making a comeback, but you know I can't really see it happening. And the mentality... We're just going to go to... We'll just go cautious. There's no point, really. Point going for it in the second half. Yeah, I mean, I, I wish we had a 3 0 lead every game. It, life would be so much easier. But, like I said, coming into this game, we're against Dungan and Swifts. I mean, I can't take too much. Um, I can't take too much out of beating, out of beating them 3 0 because they're not a good team. So, it's, you know, it is what it is. Like, I don't even know how you get the league table up normally. You know, in Football Manager, you can get the live league table, but in this, it's like you're just... The options are very limited. But Dungannon have been limited today. They've created nothing up until now. And it's Reese Campbell. Header saved by Brush, and he gets the rebound, and he scores. So 20 minutes to go. Looked like we were going to get a nice, comfortable, clean sheet win. That doesn't appear to be the case anymore. And if Dungannon can pull another one back, then uh, we will be panicking. We're panicking big time, right? Let's let's change this up a wee bit. We're going to go to very defensive. There's no point, and we'll just bring Maguire. We'll bring Maguire and Curran back. There's no point, really. Why won't it? He won't even let me pull these guys back. Fuck's sake! Right, finally. For me, some games are just meant to be played in certain consoles or, you know, PC, and it's like, when I'm, uh, to me, Face City should be played on a console, like, or uh, GTA games in general should be played on a console. Playing GTA games on a computer just doesn't make any sense to me, but, and then it's like this, to me, Football Manager, games like this are PC games, they shouldn't be played on a, on a console, but you know what, it is what it is. I think more strategic based games should be, that aren't like, you know, amazing graphics should be played on PC, whereas I think your FIFA, your Grand Theft Auto, all those games should be played on the console, that's just how, that's just how I see it, but anyway, here we go, two minutes to go before the uh, full time whistle here. Yeah, to me, like, FIFA should always be on the console. It just like I think Football Manager should always, you know, be on the, the PC laptop. Brennan, we have another chance he hits the crossbar. McGinty with the rebound. Mc Shane McGinty scores. And with 90 seconds to go, are we going to have a big comeback here? I hope fucking not. I mean, that, this could be the sort of result that gets me sacked. Uh, time's up now. Surely the referee will blow the whistle. And we'll see it out. And we do. So there you go. Referee blows full-time whistle. And in the end, I'm I'm not happy. I mean, it should have been a, a lot more comfortable than it was. But again, it doesn't allow you to do a team talk. So how the hell can we tell them we're not happy? 
Where's the defense? Ah, you tell me. Where is the defense? The defense. We'll be having major, major looks into the defense. But anyway, hat trick achievement unlocked. Your player scored a hat trick in a competitive match, and that win then it doesn't even move us up the table. How the hell can you win? Look at this. Look how close it is. When we're up to seventh place, we are. Then our next win could take us into third place, but it could see us also stay in seventh. So I mean, a lot of teams there within. A clo within a one win of each other, we've got Corain, Larne, Linfield, Ballymena and Cliftonville all looking for that third place spot. Glenn Torin at the moment having a great season, uh, 22 points out of a possible 30. And the board were pissed off that we drew against Glenn Torin. How can you be annoyed that we drew against the league leaders? It doesn't make any sense. Unless we're Real Madrid or something like that, we shouldn't you know, be expected to beat the league leaders so easily. But anyway, there you go. Joan Gormley got a, a rating at 8.5. Three goals, hat trick. You know he's doing his job at the moment. Yep, the league is really close, and uh, we are get. We'll be in January soon, so the the transfer window should open up, and there should be a chance that we can. What says the board are happy? They are fairly pleased with the quality of pressing on display while using a wing play style. Oh well. See, I'm not just a one trick pony. I do have different tactics. I've got different styles, but anyway, player stats. Joe Gormley is our top goal scorer. With relative ease at the moment. Why is it no? Board conference, league table. Again, I just find it hard to navigate and get through menus and see stuff that I want to see. Dundella are keen on signing rocks. Not that I know about that. He does play for us, but who knows? Maybe I'd, be, I'd consider selling him. Gormley is 31, need to watch for the decline. Yeah, 100%. Uh, I think we'll need to... I am looking to get, definitely get another striker in in this transfer window regardless. So, whether it'll be someone to replace Gormley or to place backup is, remains to be seen. But I think we need... I think we definitely need to get another striker in. And another thing I don't like about the Xbox, you can only load five nations. And really, if you're doing a journey, man, five nations just isn't enough. It's not ideal. Perhaps if you just intend to do a... A one save, you know, a one team save. If you plan on managing your favourite team, and then you, that's it, and you don't plan on ever leaving, then I guess Five Nations is doable. But if you want to do a journeyman series, if you want to work your way from, you know, the, the lower leagues and get to the top of European football or whatever, you know, whatever continental football you want, then I, I don't think Five Nations is enough. Obviously, I, I didn't know that until I started it, so I just selected the five home nations. But, yeah, to me, five nations just isn't enough either. So that's another reason I do not recommend um, Football Manager on the console. Oh, don't get me wrong. No, I'm all joking aside, I actually did want to start in, like, the... I was looking to start in, like, a, a low, like, <laughs> like... Like some really weird, like, European league. You know, a, a European league with... A really low coefficient, like a San Marino or something like that, or a Andorra. I was actually looking to see if I could start in one of those leagues and try and build my way up. I thought it, I thought it'd be different. Never really done it before, but then I wasn't given the option because we've only got five nations. Uh, so I thought, you know what? If I just select, if I select the big five like Germany, England, Spain, I'm not going to get a job anywhere. So I thought, you know what? I'll just kind of keep it like a like a home nation sort of thing. Just keep it, you know, on the, the Isles or whatever. So I thought, we'll just go with England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland and Ireland. And then that gives me a chance of getting some jobs in the, the smaller nations. But yeah, I was originally um, hoping to start with, like, some San Marino team. And, I don't know, try and spend a couple of years there. See if we could get our way through the, um, the, the early stages of the European qualifiers or whatever. But the, uh, the Europa League and the Champions League. But... It wasn't to be, so we're stuck with Glen Tor. Because the thing is, I would say that the Northern Irish League, the Welsh League, and the Republic of Ireland League, I'd say they're all relatively close. I wouldn't say there's a massive difference between them. Obviously, the, the Republic of Ireland League is probably the best, but I wouldn't say there's a massive difference. Now, I'm already at Cl my first job with Cliftonville, that's already the top team in Northern Ireland, so. My next job, if I do well at Cliftonville, my next job, I kind of have to go to either England or Scotland. Because if I go to, even if I go to the best team in Ireland or the best team in Wales, it's it's not that much a a jump. It's not that much an improvement. So if I do well at Cliftonville, it kind of means my next job has to be in Scotland or England. And I I don't know. I kind of wanted to. I wanted the my progress to 
I wanted it to be a, a, a slower build than that. I, I didn't want to, like, you know, end up in Scotland or England in my second job. So that's kind of why I wanted to load uh, more nations and, you know, have a have a long journey to the top rather than maybe, you know, have a good season or two at Cliftonville and then get offered a, a you know, like a St. Johnston job or something like that. I was hoping for my, my journey to the top flight to be, you know, a lot longer than that. But anyway, that's not how it's really panned out. But it is what it is. Who knows? Maybe maybe I won't do good with Clifton Phil. Maybe I'll have an unsuccessful uh, spell as manager and then I'll have to I'll have to go down a division and who knows, then it'll take a lot longer. But all I'm saying is if I have if I do really well at Clifton Phil, then my next job's probably gonna be it wouldn't make much sense. I'm not gonna leave Clifton Phil to go to Linfield really. I'm not gonna leave Clifton Phil to go to like Shamrock Rovers down south. If I do well, if I'm successful at Cliftonville, my next job's either going to be, I would imagine, like um, like a, a lower league team in the Scottish Premiership, or it's going to be a team in England, like a, a League Two team or something, or a League One team maybe. So, you know what? It remains to be. Well, we'll just need to wait and see. What's oh, the fucking hell, man? We're getting spammed by all the uh, getting spammed by all the bots here in the chat. Do I want to become fit mate, I'm already famous. Ninety five followers, so you know what, get it right up me. I don't I don't need your <laughs> I don't need your spam links to uh to we get famous. We've already ninety five followers strong here on the uh, Twitch channel. Um you wanna spend a couple of years travelling through Europe, taking a small side to Europa League playoffs, maybe then move to Yeah, mate, that's exactly it. That is exactly it. I want it to like I said, I want it to maybe start off in San Marino and then move from perhaps San Marino to you know, a slightly better nation, but not not too much better. Maybe, perhaps, like a... I'm trying to think. Like a maybe... Like, like you said, Azerbaijan or Cyprus or something like that, you know? Or Israel, something like that. I want it to go from, like, a really small European na like league nation to, like, then a, like a slightly better one. And then... A, or, I don't know, Israel, Bulgaria, you know, like a nation like that. And then Sweden, maybe. Iceland, and then perhaps try and get to a slightly even higher one, and then maybe come to Scotland or come to England. But uh, the way it's panned out is I've, I've selected five nations, and if I do well here, like I said, it just looks like my next step. Progression-wise, it looks like the next step is either Scotland or England. It doesn't make much sense to me, if I do well at Cliftonville, to take a sideward step to, you know, like I said, England, uh, Wales, or Republic of Ireland. So... Anyway, that's it. Yeah, Danish or Belgian would be good. If you do well in Ireland, you could easily get a playoff challenge in Scottish Champions. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, that's, that's what I mean. It's like, that's the only way, really. If I do well here at Cliftonville, it's going to either be, my next job's probably going to be in Scotland or uh, England. Anyway, man, that is going to do it. Head's absolutely banging. It wasn't the greatest start to the episode. Two defeats, but then we ended it there with a 3-2 win over Dungan and Swifts. Almost a disaster. We almost conceded a free goal lead and, <laughs> and drew, which would have been an absolute. Um, it would have been a massive failure. Up next, we take on Ballymena United, though. They are on the same points as us, so we need a win to go above them. Linfield are taking on the league leaders, Glen Torren, so there's a good chance they could drop points. Larn are taking on Carrick. Uh, who else are. Colwain's taking on Portadown. They should win, so. I mean, it looks like a few of the teams above us will win. They've got a couple of easy games. So we need to try and make sure we beat Balamina and keep the pressure on them. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching episode three here of the Journeyman on Football Manager 2021 on the Xbox. Shame it's the Xbox, but the heart save will be on the PC. Don't worry. And until next time, peace.